And right now, we are on the final steps of finishing the details to splash and set sail. Finally! I'm Roberta. And I'm Duca. And together, we are on the mission of bringing this sailboat that was neglected for over 22 years back to life. So, don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Monday for a new episode. For the past weeks, we've been working on the electrical panel, like this panel, and now we are working on a huge modification of our nav station. Here it used to be straight and we are just modifying the shape of the nav station because we are going to install all the electronics here and we want to do something special, something that we're going to always look and be proud of the work we've done. And this week we're going to keep going because we want to show you a properly finished panel. Let's hope we finish this week. finally ready. The this, first of three. This 10 seconds glue thing takes like 10 minutes to glue. <laughs> We're just trying to guarantee it won't move. So this is just template number one out of three because we're gonna have one here, one here and one here. We're gonna do this one, then this one, install in place and then we build this one because the end of these two panels are gonna change the shape of this third panel. But now we need to be brave enough to cut this and hope it will fit in place. Let's do this. Just the first cut. I left the line so I can trim with the sandpaper, but otherwise it's, we're gonna make a mistake. So we need to cut bigger and then we fix. Mm -hmm. See? I really like it. I think that's pretty good. Make me work, make me sweat inside. Let's hope this is good enough. <laughs> this one is gonna be tricky because we cannot try in place before it's finished. We will need to have a chamfer here. But if we do the chamfer now, we cannot trim the... Oh, yeah, the finishing. Yeah, we cannot fin trim the finishing the way we want with the router. So we need to create the opening for the panel here, the opening for the VHF radio, and then we can do the finishing, trim the finishing, do the chamfer, and then risk that's gonna work. <laughs> Let's hope for the best. And then if both of these fits in place, and then we can work on the third one. Let's do it. gonna be the door and the cut needs to be perfect if the cut's not perfect you're gonna see a bad door so now we need to send and see how straight my door is and see this time missing. so many people said that we should have used uh, piano hinges and we bought this to try this out yeah, let's give it a try uh, so thanks Bruce yeah Bruce had a video last week about the same thing He's much better than I am, but I'm <laughs> learning with him. He's building the whole boat. Yeah, so Bruce <laughs> said that for the hinge, for the piano hinge, he did two passes on the miter saw. Miter saw? No. Uh, jigsaw. Jigsaw. Yeah, on the jigsaw. 
So on the bottom you can tell that it's thicker, the gap, because I did two passes on the jigsaw and the rest I did just one. So now we have enough space for the piano hinge, hopefully. We do have. <laughs> Seems like it's gonna work, but you know, cross our fingers, we're gonna cross our fingers and we're gonna... Now we little. need to do this to fit the piano. One thing that I like a lot is that we have been using the jigsaw and the vacuum and all of this just with our solar panels and our inverter. Yeah, that's pretty that's cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Even though we are in the marina, we are off-grid. That's pretty cool. Good enough. Yeah, it's the first time. What we didn't like is that. You yeah, but you with the finching, you won't see this. I hope, I hope so. Uh, I think we need to cut this one first. Okay, let's do it. This is the cut off for the VHF radio that's gonna be here. So, this is the template. We need to, I think the best idea is to cut this glue to the wood and then we can cut exactly where the template shows. And then we have the perfect spot for VHF radio. What do you say? Good. Good, eh? I can't wait to see this panel all in place. So the raid's gonna be there. We can use the raid sitting on the couch, sitting on the nav station, standing here. We're gonna have an iPad here that we can see the sharp powder, the weather, everything. It's tricky to work when you need to have the perfect measurement. Like there is no, there is no, uh, how do I say? No space for errors. errors. Exactly. Yeah. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. This week's gonna be start something put on hold, start something else, but everything is towards one goal, that is to go to the water. Yeah, today we are gonna put on hold this because we used too much energy on the solar yesterday <laughs> and it's raining, so we're gonna save energy because this uses a lot of the vacuum, because a lot of dust. So we decide to run the Nimea 2000 cable from here to the autopilot and the reason for that is because it's an easy job and we are waiting for someone on the boat because today we are finally going to do the last finishings on the engine. We mm. hope. <laughs> yeah. Supposedly, we hope the the mechanic that is installing our engine is going to be here to do some last finishings because we are almost ready with the helm station pan panel. So we can bring the helm station panel and install the helm and finish the engine and splash the boat. And this is just a side project. The electronics is just something that we do when we have nothing to do and hopefully soon we're gonna finish this on the water. But for now, let's just run this wire. This was quick. Yeah, so now that we have a different way for this connection, I think the autopilot is gonna be here because it's much easier access. It's really good, you can open up, you can see. And also it's protected. It's protected, it's vented inside of the, you know, the bed. Someone can hit with their feet or something. And here it's vented, it's all good. So this it's is great gonna be actually. It's a great size. It's the size. perfect size actually. Yeah. <laughs> perfect length. So the idea is to have this one that we can screw and take the entire panel out. So we can work through here, it's fine. I think we can install the autopilot in place. Yeah. The autopilot, where are you my friend? I found it, I found it. <laughs> it's not an organized mess, babe. We're gonna use a neck tree from PNG. That's the brain of the autopilot. Yeah, we need to get this moving, you know. I feel like going inside. To work. <laughs> First time in there. <laughs> so much easier. Try to make a straight line now. If you ever need to hide from pirates, you can fit here. You have so many places you can hide on the boat. I can. Yeah, but when you hide, just be careful with this. <laughs> I 
time for the truth. Perfect. One more piece of the puzzle in place. Of course, now we need to run the wires. We just take this cover out and connect the wires, and we are good to go. We have an autopilot. Right. Yeah, we, I mean, we need to finish the Nimea 2000 network, we need to have the controller. But uh, small it's all the things. Yeah, babe steps. Eventually, we're gonna have a boat that everything works. But I need to get out of here first. <laughs> That's a good. I like it. It's good when you fit inside the place and you can work better. What to do now? We found something else we can do. We want to get rid of some of these wires, and in order to do that, we need to organize them probably inside the nav table. But we want to have the instrument installed before we can, you know, <laughs> hide the wires. And this is the solar panel controllers that's going to be installed here, as you know already. So we are going to start by doing the hose to install these in place. This one is gonna go here. The connection is not hitting this piece of wood, so it's fine. Oh, we have three of these, but we are only using two. The reason why we are already putting the, all them three in place is because really soon we're gonna have some extra panels on the Bimini, hopefully. So we're gonna install these already, just in a way of pushing us to <laughs> the third you know, group of solar panels. <laughs> I really like the location. Great. What do you think? Is that good? Yeah. I think we need to hook the wires because we need to see the, the cable. Yeah. So we need to see it working, right? Mm. And now we can control if we are producing energy. Hmm. 11 watts. We are producing watts. energy, but check how the weather is today. Raining, raining, raining. Rain. The whole day. And even though we are producing energy, that's so cool. Yeah. Imagine on a sunny day. Huh. Yeah. Now we can try to organize. I think the next step is to create a hole to organize the wires inside of the nav table. We can, you know, just, I think we can just create a division inside of the nav table and this half of the table because we don't need such a big table. As we we have, other have maps. We do have maps, but we can store somewhere else. We do have some old maps that we can store somewhere else. And I think it's going to be a good way because we have like a lot of long cables. This is a long one. There's another long one, another long one that we don't want to cut because the electronics, we don't want to cut the cables. But before we do that, it's time to go back to work on the engine because the mechanic just called, he's arriving. So huh, we need to finally take out the doors and get ready because once he arrives, we want to do it quick. Kelly, how are you, Kelly? You've been abandoned for a little while. This is how she is right now. We have everything glued. We are gonna only know 100% when we trim the, the edges. We are gonna do that with the hout, route, router. Yeah, with the router. But I think there's no bubbles. And the thing is, this surface is really small. 
it's much easier not to have bubbles. When we did on the shipping container, that was huge. It was like one entire plywood at once. That was tricky. But this, I think we're good enough for that. Now, let's route this. That's it for this step. Now I think we need to sand a little bit better because this always leaves a little edge, a little bit longer than it should. That's good because otherwise we would cut too much. And then the tricky moment, these two pieces, they cannot be straight here. These need to have a chamfer. So we measure the angle and we're gonna try to plane this with the planer. Mm -hmm. And that's really scary because if we get to this part, we're gonna need to do all over again. Now we are square. <laughs> Much better. It works actually. I was the, afraid. The problem is that the router just makes curves and we need a straight no, edge. edges. Yeah, the, the, the edge is always round because uh, round bit. So the edge is always round. It won't go all to the way all the way to the end, so we need to somehow create it. For amateurs like us, it's square enough. I hope we can get this right. <laughs> that was a lot of work to ruin right now. Well, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. You need to try, right? Otherwise, it won't fit in place. That's the only way we can fit this in place is to have the chamfer. The worst case scenario, we're gonna screw the VHF radio in place any way we can. So we can leave the marina and then in the future we do this panel. <laughs> but we're gonna try to do it now. Hopefully, we don't need to do it again. But if the worst happen, it's gonna be ugly for a while and we have the VHF that we need. It's mandatory to have a VHF and it's safety to have a VHF, so... Let's go. Ready for this? Not really. I don't want to try. Are you sure? Are you sure? So the entire piece is a little bit bigger than we sh it should. That's just so good. Because if it was smaller, there's nothing we can do. But if it's bigger, we can always send a little bit and put in place. That's a win. We need to send this until it goes inside, I guess. We're back. So now we have a chamfer on this side. I mean, on this side <laughs> and this side. And that means, hopefully, hopefully, this is gonna fit in place. Ta -da -da -da. Hmm. The side's perfect. Mm -hmm. Can you wait to see the rest? Yeah, we're doing progress. Now we do the same to this one, and then this one's gonna be screwed in front. So we need this and this in place to make the template for this one. So now, this let's one. bring this one. I think we can skip and bring yeah. it straight ready, right? Yeah. So that's it. <laughs> of course, this is temporary, this is not properly screwed in place. This is holding by tape because we don't have the lock mechanism yet. But we are doing really, really good progress. I mean, this one's gonna be the most <laughs> hard one because there is this angle that needs to be exactly perfect. And this angle, we still need to trim this and somehow finding a way of screwing this in place that we can unscrew whenever necessary because we need to work on Nimea 2000 network that's gonna be behind and everything. But this one's gonna be screw and glue in place and not gonna move. This one is not gonna move. This one, check this out. Yeah. Oops. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically we do have a piano hinge now. That's pretty cool. It's already installed in place. So it's the first piano hinge we installed. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm really excited. I think this is really, really, really good progress. I just don't know if you're gonna be able to finish this before going to the water. We only need to finish the helm panel, but the truth is the helm panel is almost done. It's gonna be painted hopefully by tomorrow. And when we come back from our hometown, we're gonna spend one week traveling now. When we come back, the panel is gonna be ready. 
hopefully. And then we're gonna bring to the boat, install the helm, install the steering quadrant, the cables, everything. We can finish the engine, and then we're gonna paint the bottom and splash the boat. This, we are gonna probably put on hold. Splash the boat? Yeah, splash the boat. A lot of people think we are giving excuses not to splash the boat and not to set sail. That's not true. We are literally been waiting for the engine for the helm for over two months now. And that's the only reason why we're still here, but that's not for too long because yeah. we are getting really, really close. You, you guys can get excited because we are really excited. And hopefully by the time we come back to the boat next week, I think it's just a matter of, you know, a week, two weeks of work, 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 a and lot of work. we are going to finally have the stove and oven working. We still yeah. need to work on that, but yeah, that's, we are going to have it. Yeah, that's one more thing we need to do before we leave the marina. We need to have a stove and oven. The reason why we never did that is because the gas lock, the locking mechanism for the lasers, gas lock, the wouldn't... Gas, wouldn't the wouldn't gas bottle lock. The gas bottle lock. Basically wouldn't seal. That means salt water could come inside because the locking mechanism was not good. Yeah. So we designed a different locking mechanism that's already done. We just need to install in place and make sure it works. Hopefully it's gonna work. Less talking. we see you guys next week. See you next Monday. See you next Monday. Look at this. Oh, it's falling. <laughs> It's so cool. See ya!